Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, Sunday, last Sunday, I went along to the car boot sale, bought a load of interesting tools and bits of kit as you can see here. And uh, my last visit, because he was only just setting the stall up, was one of my favourite uh, vintage tool stalls there. He sells um, this sort of thing in boxes and crates by the thousand. Uh, diving through all the boxes, I came across this monstrous great big thing here. It cost me three pounds. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I wonder how old that is. Um, having got it home and started having a look at it, I noticed just here we have a, it says a PROV PAT, it's a provisional patent number, and it's got RD, I think it's 738137, I think. I'll put a picture up here. On the dynamic jaw, we have, um, let me think, master grip and number 19 here so I don't know what that's supposed to be it means it's 19 inches long let's have a look well it's about 17 and a half but anywho uh, and also on one of the sides of the thing and this thing weighs in at six pounds by the way guys in a couple of places we have what I thought originally was 60 but I'm beginning to think it's 09 now and I'll uh, tell you why I think that now. I was trying to research the uh, patent number, couldn't find the thing. So uh, I thought, well, what, what does a provisional patent mean? Well, basically, I think, from what I understand, provisional patents were brought in uh, in America in about 1994, 1995 time, uh, like a sort of kind of a, like a placeholder for people who've got an interesting tool or whatever they want work on so they've got 12 months to work on and get it perfected uh, and then they can apply for a proper patent so that's why I think this is now 09 2009 I have tried to research this little fellow online absolutely nothing comes up I've uh, googled master grip 19 nothing master grip 61 because it might be 61 I don't know nothing at all you can't get hold of the number here because I don't believe they released them according to my friend of mine 357 Magdad uh, they don't release uh, provisional patent numbers to the public, so I can't find anything about this little fellow. Uh, I mean, I've got this for a restoration project, but uh, I have decided to put it out now so you guys can look at it, because maybe there might be someone out there who knows what this fellow is all about. I don't know what it is. <laughs> never seen the like of it before. Yes, it's huge. I know my pens are falling over now. It's huge. It's heavy. Six pounds. Um massively well made probably a tad over engineered maybe um, the main body uh, of the thing is stamped from sheet steel of about three mil or one eighth of an inch thick it is then formed around into this shape you see here and it is then welded along here and uh, you can actually see the welding marks I don't know if you can see them there guys but you can actually see the welding marks running all the way along there they've been ground off but you can still see where it was uh, welded all along here. Um, so far I've not been able to uh, get the uh, jaws to come out of it at all, they won't come out. Um, it is a very, very slow thread on here. If you want to wind it, it's very, very slow to open fully. I'll give you a demonstration of that. In case you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, it's because this thing is absolutely filthy, especially the knurled uh, nut here. Get it the right way around. You can see the jaw is coming out here but it seems to take forever it really does it takes some serious winding oh blimey guys you would not believe it Whew. okay so it's starting to get a bit stiff now because it's really filthy inside there's a lot of dirt inside this thing okay oh. Right, now it comes to a dead stop just here. You can't go any further than that. And that's it, fully opened. Uh, you might be able to see this master grip here. Um, it has a, the dynamic jaw is also articulated too, so it can get out of the pipes nicely. But I'll tell you what, oh, blimey, it takes out of your old uh, calf muscle here, not calf muscle, <laughs> your arm here, that muscle there. It, um, yeah calf muscle. Yeah, I didn't do biology at school, can you believe that? 
mate. Oh. This thing is an absolute beast. When you can, you can see how you can hold it like this here. Um, six pounds in weight. It's quite wide as well. It must be an inch wide, I guess, if not wider. Um, so basically, why I'm putting this video out is, um, has anyone else ever seen one of these about anywhere? Um, provisional patent number there. Does this make it a um, a prototype, maybe an early model of something? Has anyone out there seen one of these? Because I cannot find anything about it anywhere online. No pictures, nothing whatsoever. Nothing, not a thing. So um, if you know what it is, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. As I say, Grip Master 19 is all it's got written on it. Provisional patent uh, number here. You've got some patent numbers on the jaws as well. Um, and as I say, I'm pretty sure that it's got 09 stamped in it in a couple of places on this side. I thought it was 60 originally, 1960, but I'm thinking more like 2009 now, possibly, maybe. Um, yeah, okay guys, so I'll, I'll leave it in your hands now. I can't find anything about it. If you know anything about this, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be most interested to find out about it. Um, the chances are I will be doing a renovation. Or at least cleaning it up as best I can because I cannot get the dynamic jaw out of this thing whatsoever. I, uh, there is a bung in the end of the uh, thing here. There's a little bung in there. If we could get that out, then maybe we can take it apart. I don't know. Okay then, guys, if anyone out there can help me with the mystery master grip wrench here. It's obviously for doing pipes and I think it's fairly heavy duty, so what it was meant to be used for, I have no idea whatsoever. This thing is a serious piece of work enormous great thing it is beautiful I originally went out with the intention of getting a six inch version of one of these fellas here this is an eight inch version uh, on the, the stall there where I got this from he had loads and loads of eight inches but not a six inch one in sight anywhere couldn't get it um, the smallest wrench I got Sunday was this little um, Joseph Lucas here little teeny thing look at that look at the difference <laughs> so this is an interesting bit of kit uh, this thing cost me three pounds really interested to find out what it is if you know please let me know down in the comments below guys so uh thank you very much and thanks for watching